Lucy wrote for Wired magazine that she asked an algorithm to optimize her life and here's what happened. Lucy wrote a very interesting and opening article about how she feels her life is suboptimal. Maybe you feel the same way. And, and with her limited knowledge, we can use computer technology. We can use artificial intelligence and all that. They can find a wise and prosperous life for us. But if you hand over your life to the machine, you're going to live like the machine. The machine is interested in making your life optimal, not making your life happy. Not giving you preference or choice, but having you have only optimal decisions. And if you really think it through, the machine will have you live like the machine does. Always in this relentless pursuit of optimization, always destroying suboptimal things and exhausting you. You're not a machine. I'm not too. And if you're always, prefer, always going for optimal results instead of preferable results, instead of honest results, instead of human Results, you're going to find that you're going to be exhausted soon. Even with all the knowledge and wisdom we have, handing yourself over to the wisdom of the machine gives you a machine life. Doesn't give you the happiness and joy you wanted. Psalm 119, teach me, O Lord, to follow your decrees, that I will keep them to the end. I agree that we need guidance. I agree that we need wisdom. I agree we need something greater than ourselves, but not something of our own creation something that wasn't created. God's wisdom, God's word, God's decrees. These are smarter than us. These give us a path and a, a blessing forward. Teach me, O oh Lord, what you have for me. I know my life is not optimal. I know my life doesn't go according to plan. I know I need a better way. I can't conceive it my own. Teach me better. Teach me joy. Teach me happiness. Teach me forgiveness. Teach me peace. Teach me what a computer cannot teach me of heaven. It's things I cannot imagine nor compute, but you've already made for me.